Japan's actions have started to haunt China because China may not be able to survive the fresh wave of exodus of Japanese companies. The most accepted perception among those who do not observe global supply chains closely is that Chinese factories are dependent only on the American and European companies, which outsource their manufacturing processes to the communist country. The crucial role played by the other East Asian economies like Japan, South Korea and Taiwan in making China the factory of the world is often ignored. It is imperative to note that Japan, South Korea and Taiwan are all high income countries and the majority of their companies outsource their manufacturing processes to China. These countries have played a vital role in establishing China as a manufacturing powerhouse and provide employment to millions of Chinese workers. But amid the coronavirus pandemic, as China steps up aggression towards its neighbors at the border, these countries led by Japan have decisively started the undoing of China's economic might by shutting down their factories in the communist country. And with this, a debate has been sparked in China about whether it can survive this accelerated exodus of companies and the job losses as a result of it. China is rattled by the fact that their second largest trading partner, Japan, is actively decoupling its economy from China. Its other eastern neighbors, Taiwan and South Korea too, are heading in the same direction. A few months ago, the Japanese government had also approved a stimulus package worth a whopping amount of 108.2 trillion yen or 993 billion dollars, equal to 20% of Japan's economic output. Out of the total amount, it earmarked 2.2 billion dollars to help its manufacturers to shift their production out of China. As per a report by a Japanese newspaper, Nikkei Asian Review, Companies have lined up to seek funds from Japan's Ministry of Trade, Economy and Industry to move their factories out of China. So far, a total of 87 companies have signed up with the Ministry to move their manufacturing units out of China, with 57 moving back to Japan and 32 different Southeast Asian nations like Vietnam, Thailand and Laos. The South Korean government too is nudging large companies including Samsung, the conglomerate which alone accounts for almost one-fifth of the country's GDP to move the production of personal computers out of China. A few days ago, Samsung announced that it will no longer assemble PCs in China due to fierce market competition. This will eventually affect thousands of jobs in the country. Except for employees at the research and development department, all other employment contracts will be affected to reach the notice given to the staff by the contractors. Now, over 290 million migrant workers in China are at risk of unemployment and now China is worried about losing face and its factory of the world tag. The local governments in Chinese provinces are increasingly worried about becoming an unattractive manufacturing destination, where a large number of people are ending up being unemployed as Japanese manufacturers are shutting their factories. The economic advisors are asking the local governments to bring down the manufacturing cost and provide a safe investment environment to stop the exodus. Liu Ziabiao, an advisor to the provincial government, said the Jiangsu government is confident about its infrastructure and government efficiency. So they are not that worried about the exodus. So at the end of the day, the only way for local governments to keep foreign enterprises is to help lower their costs and provide a safe investment environment for them. As per a survey by Taikoku Data Bank, a credit research house, 14,394 Japanese firms were operating in China in 2012 when both countries came at loggerheads with each other for the first time in the last few decades on the matter of the Senkaku Islands. Since then, the number of Japanese firms has consistently declined to reach 13,934 in 2016 and 13,685 in 2019. Given the billions of dollars of incentives by the Abe government, the exodus of the Japanese companies is accelerating as 87 companies have already left within the last few weeks and hundreds more in line to leave. The United States, Japan, South Korea and Taiwan are the four largest trading partners of China with a combined trade volume of $1.4 trillion, above one-third of China's total trade. 
as the communist government has picked up a dispute with almost all of its large trading partners its export dependent economy is set to collapse in the next few years hideo kawabuchi deputy director general of japan external trade organization beijing a government related organization that promotes trade and investment to and from japan said japanese corporate managers decide where to invest by considering diversification to minimize the risk of disruptions to supplies of important goods and to supply chains in the event of unanticipated crisis diversification or enmity whatever is the strategy behind the pulling out of china ultimately the communist country is set to lose in the last few months the japanese government has openly spoken on the complicity of the chinese government in the spread of the coronavirus now japan china relations are in that stage where even a state visit by the top leader is not possible this also serves as the agenda of the japanese government to not be perceived as a country making any compromises with china and also to force businesses to move their factories out of china